So far, we've counted the number of functions that map a universe omega into the set 1, 2, subject to various restrictions, be they order or replacement. You're probably at this point thinking to yourself, wait a second, I haven't counted any functions, I've been counting samples. But here's the idea. Consider the subset A, B, E of the set A, B, C, D, E. This is a function from the set A, B, C, D, E to the set 1, 2, where f of a, b, and e are all equal to 1, and f of c and d are both equal to 2. So in that sense, you have been counting functions. But all of those functions have been binary in the sense that there are only two outcomes. You're either in the sample or you're not. What about functions that map a set omega into the set 1, 2, dot, 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 k, so that there are more than two outcomes for the elements of our universe. Suppose that 10 people are being assigned to three projects, where three people are assigned to the first of the projects, five people to the second, and two to the third. How many ways can we choose which people are on which project? The first thing to notice here is that there is a multi-set at play. In deciding how many people go in each project, we have chosen the multi-set, one three times, two five times, three twice. Let's call three R1. Let's call the number of people on the second project R2, and the number of people on the third project R3. We want to know how many functions are there from the set of people to the set 1, 2, 3, where ri people are on the ith project. That's how this question relates to counting functions. We start with 10 people, and of those 10 people, we want to choose three of them to be on the first project. Then of the remaining seven people, we want to choose five of them to be on the second project, and then of the remaining two people, both of them need to go on the third project. This is 10 factorial over 3 factorial 7 factorial times 7 factorial over 5 factorial 2 factorial times 2 factorial over 2 factorial 0 factorial. The 7 factorials cancel, the 2 factorials cancel, and 0 factorials equal to 1, turning this into 10 factorial over 3 factorial, 5 factorial, 2 factorial. This number is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, because the 5 factorials cancel, divided by 3 factorial times 2 factorial. 3 factorial is 6, 2 factorial is 2. So that leaves us with 5 times 9 times 8 times 7, which is 2,520. This factorial formula suggests a different way to solve the problem. Suppose that we shuffled the 10 members of our team There are 10 factorial total ways to do that. And then we said the first three people in the line are going to be on the first project. The next five people are going to be on the second project, and the tail of the line is going to be on the third project. Because we don't care about the arrangement of the people within each project, that means we've overcounted the first project by a factor of 3 factorial, the second project by a factor of 5 factorial, and the third project by a factor of 2 factorial. That pictorial way to think of the problem yields the same answer. Here's our definition. Alpha is a multiset of cardinality n on the set 1 through k, and instead of writing alpha i for the multiplicity of each number, we're going to write r sub i instead. The number of functions from omega to the set 1 through k, where r i elements x have f of x equal to i, is given by the multinomial coefficient n factorial over r1 factorial, r2 factorial, dot dot dot, r k factorial, where we might read this as n choose r1, r2, etc., rk. 
Again, this is a technical definition, but the idea is that we're counting functions and we're shuffling the entire set. And then independently shuffling each group and dividing.